Total overreach. Total overreach. Yeah, bullshit. Global governance and a stronger, empowered, and sustainably financed WHO. Because now is the time to move away from the temptations of competing nationalism, the, the so keeper approach, and instead reassert the power, the duty, the necessity for nations to act together. Global governance. Something as big as like a pandemic happens, so we should choose like who we, who we want to deal with it, right? We won't have that round here, we don't like him. He's not welcome round here. <laughs> and he's never allowed on Castle Street, mate. Yeah, I work for them. Uh, the, oh, you work for them? Yeah, I'm a consultant. Fantastic. I mean, like, who else would, like, right, okay. kind Our of... own country, maybe? And who are our own country? Boris Johnson. <laughs> you don't live in Cuckoo Land, mate. <laughs> I can't. I'm a research scientist, so I can't live here. Okay. <laughs> Definitely research this, because it's very important. And uh, I don't trust the government. I don't trust WHO. I don't trust any of these kind of organisations. They don't have... Um, the people at their heart. It's all profit, power, money, that kind of thing. And I'm not into it, so I'd rather leave it all behind and uh, have a little bit of sunshine somewhere else. So we have arrived at our most northern point on our tour to expose the WHO in central Leeds. Now Leeds is famous for, what Leeds famous for? Jimmy Savile. Can't say that, of course. We're going to cut that out. But there we go. So we're going to be going around and still asking the people of Leeds, what do they think of the WHO? I've done a little bit of research into it, yeah. Yeah, okay. and I think um, people need to be really, really wary about what they're actually doing and, and possibly look up what's going on okay. with the WHO Treaty at the moment because yeah. quite a few countries have signed up to it and yeah. um, it's, it's not looking good. No. <laughs> no? We don't know anything. Not about the World Economic Forum that you might be eating bugs in... Five years time? No, I, don't, I, have, I have no clue. I think that um, obviously a lot of people don't know about it. Do you like our sign? <laughs> do you like our sign? Yeah. What do you think of the uh, the world? <laughs> okay. No, I don't know enough about it to make a sensible comment. No. Good luck with your campaign. Have you heard of the WHO or the WEF? No? Boris Johnson is basically selling us, selling us out. What it will mean is if, you know, in, in future pandemics, whatever the state is in different countries, mm. they're going to take over, you know, the rules for that particular country. And sure. even if it's not warranted, which, yeah. which we know it hasn't been in the past. Global governance. So we have arrived into the center of Manchester over at St. Peter's Square. Manchester, as you know, best known for the Gallagher brothers, the Stone Roses, Ian Brown, and of course, City and United. So we're gonna be going around and asking people, do they trust the WHO and the WEF? And remember, you can go to exposethewho.co.uk, chip in to help us fund the billboard and take it around England. I think now, um, because of Partygate and everything else, mm. I seriously think that he would totally be the wrong person. And with the health, the World Health Organization, mm. if he got involved with them, I think it would just give them less accreditation yeah. for what they do. That, that. How would you feel that the World Health Organization would dictate our laws in Britain? Do you think that's right or wrong for an upcoming pandemic? Um, I, I think mean, keep us informed, research. but we're British, we'll make our own decisions. Have you guys heard of the WHO? No? Did you want to know a bit more about it? Never mind for you guys. We've put up a sign today about the WHO. Do you know much about the WHO? To be honest, I've not read enough about it to be able to have mm. an informed opinion. Yeah, fair enough. So I'd have to read into it to actually have a proper opinion on whether it's actually worthwhile or not. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. How about you, sir? How about you guys? What do you think? World Economic Forum, WHO? No? I've heard of them all. Yeah? But I have no view on what you're asking about because I know no. nothing about it. The general consensus here in Manchester or central Manchester is that a lot of people are quite afraid to give their opinion. I just spoke to the most lovely lady 
who explained that she agreed with the sign that Boris Johnson has in fact sold this out to the globalists and the WHO. And she disagrees with the WHO implicating laws against this country if another pandemic arises. But unfortunately, because her husband works in the medical professional world, she didn't want to go on camera just in case it could come back to her. And this is the problem. A lot of people show respect show a lot of support but they just feel like they can't do it because it could of course ruin their job but the billboard has arrived into Sheffield right in the city center Sheffield of course known for Gordon Banks, Bring Me the Horizon, Sean Bean, and Steel. So let's go and ask people, do they trust the WHO and the WEF? Good job. Good, do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Do, you know, do you know much no, about- No, 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 I, I think that you, uh, sh it, it shouldn't be like that, that we uh, are with WHO. H -O? H -O? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're about to sign us up to a pandemic treaty, which means that the laws in this country will be dictated by someone uh, else. No. It, it shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that, no? I, I'm from Poland and I think like you. Uh, actually, you're talking about the lockdown, right? Sure. Actually, uh, I don't think that uh, lockdown anymore will be uh, comfortable for the people okay. because it, it will be affecting their lives mm -hmm. and their earnings. Mm. So, uh, and, and anyhow, two years of our lives has been taken by the COVID and the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So normal like measures like that would do any kind of like uh, people wellness. Yeah. No world body can be trusted. Yep, agreed. However, uh, I do believe that in the cases of coronavirus, etc., I think that they've acted very, very responsibly. Right. Um, I think that the rollout of the vaccine has been very successful, although I'm extremely not a fan of the Conservatives. I think they've rolled it out badly. Okay. Um, but I think worldwide, it's done the job. There you go, biggest donor to the World Health Organization, joins world health world leaders in call for a global treaty, international pandemic treaty. So there you go, lots of different sources saying the same thing. That's new to me, I've got anything like that. It's a lot of people really haven't, like strangely. A lot of people scary. haven't. It's pretty scary, which means that yes, they get to decide the WHO instead of our own country. I see you rolling your eyes. Listen. <laughs> I can't. I'm a research scientist, so I can't really. Uh... Okay. <laughs> we'll definitely research this because it's very important. Um, cool. To be honest, I'm actually leaving the country. Okay. Because of these things, okay. and uh, I don't trust the government. I don't trust WHO. I don't trust any of these kind of organisations. They don't have um, the people at their heart. It's all profit, power, money, that kind of thing and I'm not into it, so I'd rather leave it all behind and uh, have a little bit of sunshine somewhere else. I accept that most, a lot of people might have got a lot wrong because at the end of the day, if you are dealing with something that is completely unknown to mankind, and I don't mean to over-dramatise it, but at the end of the day, coronavirus was. Uh, nobody knew exactly what it was. It came out of nowhere. Um, we can all hypothesise as to the reasons why it came out, if it was made in a lab by somebody. At the end of the day, not, you and I weren't there. We don't know. And they helped cover it up. The yeah. WHO. But then again, so did every government under the under the, the sun. Every single government under the sun tried to. Um, so do you trust them? I don't trust governments in general, um, especially not the Conservatives. Um, I think that Boris Johnson, considering he's been sacked from absolutely every post he's ever held, doesn't deserve to hold a newspaper, let alone an office like that. You can't, you can't trust them. You can't trust anybody, anybody that signs up to it. A lot of these things that are happening, um, behind, you know, closed doors and, you know, it, it seems like it's good for us. But in reality, you, you, you're losing your freedom, you're losing your voice, you can't even gather together and kind of, you know, I mean, what you're doing is great, but um, I'm sure soon enough you probably won't be able to do that. You like Boris? Yeah, I love Boris. Who else is better than Boris? You know, come on. Oh, you, you're the one of the Boris fans. Um, 
Yeah, you are. Yes, come on, just say yes. You are. Not who else? Who else? Who else? So you're all Boris fans then? Yeah, we Boris, are. No, Boris, who else is more Boris. bigger fans than Boris? About too many years of older people contradicting our decisions. We're all human. We know right from wrong. Well, hopefully some people do anyway, innit? But at the end of the day, we all make our own choices. If we want to stick by it, we stick by it. If we don't, we don't. Yeah. And how would you feel if we do sign this treaty? That means lockdowns could come back, mask mandates could come back, social distancing, but it wasn't. It wouldn't be from us. It would be from the WHO. How do you? How does that make you feel? Definitely not. Definitely not. If, well, if, if it ever does come to it, and they start uh, taking us on jabs out our own homes, I ain't coming out of alive, mate. Mm. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Screw it. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. You ain't taking me alive. Yeah. So the idea that. The World Health Organization could dictate laws in this country. Does that sit well? Does, does that sit well with you? No, I mean, uh, how I'm wanting to move to America as it is. <laughs> Obviously, that's a sh <clears throat> yeah, that's a uh... another conversation for another time. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Why? No reason. It just doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right, no. Why doesn't it seem right? It just doesn't. There's all laws in it, so why would they be governing? Yeah. Well, great, re great reset. I've seen the whole lot, mate. Mm -hmm. Like even on my TikTok, uh, I expose it as much as I can, like sharing what info I come across and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, I must admit we've had mixed reactions, and you're the first person to actually mention the great reset. So fair play. So good on you. So I think we're done. We've had mixed reactions. We've even had someone mention the great reset, which is very rare. That never really happens. But I think the consensus is. People don't want to be governed by unelected bureaucrats, and that's very, very important. And it's why we've come out with the billboard, okay? It's important to spread the message and the word. So please go to expose the who.co.uk. We've put so much time and hard work into trying to bring this billboard everywhere around England. So Please visit the website, give what you can, and help us keep it going. We've got a few destinations tomorrow to finish off, and we're nearly back in London. This has been Lewis Brackpool for Rebel News.